What you got there, Luna? Is that yummy? It's a piece of tarp. Yeah, have you noticed? Did you actually eat that piece of tarp, Luna? You just ate a piece of plastic, Luna. How do you feel? Tell us. Kevin is working on the pallet deck and let's check on his progress. I have no idea, I've not come out here since we just laid down the pallets last night. So, we'll see what it looks like. I think it'll look good. Working hard. Are these one by threes? So you, they don't have any one by fours like this? Those are one by fours, but they don't fit. Oh, yes, you are right, sir. Yep, it's not gonna fit. So close, on some of them you can get fit. Yeah, there. whatever, looks good. But pretty easy. You still happy with this uh, method? I think so. So far? Yeah, these work perfect. Cut them into three. That, that, that must be just like a standard, standard thing. They cut these. In. Have you thought about what you're gonna do around here? Um, whatever you want me to do. Okay. Well, is that a hole from a chicken already? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. All right. Another bird in the coop. Jeez Louise. Mr. Duck just making himself all pretty. You know, people often ask if goats will mow your lawn. Do you know what my, my answer to that is? No, they won't. See, goats are browsers, not grazers. So that means that they're foragers. They're gonna look for the things that are the tastiest, that have the most nutritional content. Now, they'll still eat grass when they come across it, but they're not as good at keeping it trimmed as you would think. So, goats primarily, for their nutrition, they need bushes and plants, and they need things like alfalfa to really be healthy, or, they need a pasture that has lots of variety in it, like some clover and some, uh, I'll list it down below, but there's basically um, a whole list of plants that goats can eat in a pasture, and what a lot of people do is they'll seed their pasture so that they can have all this variety for their goats, and they'll eat the grass and they'll eat the other stuff. With us, we meant to do it this year. We were going to do our first seeding of our pasture here, but then what happened was, it got really hot, just too fast, and it was really more of a cold variety. So we just saved the seed and we thought, okay, we'll wait till like November and we'll plant then. And then it will take root, it'll be more likely to take root throughout the spring and summer. So you can see like Luna here, she's, she's foraging, so she's looking for stuff that's good. She's nibbling on a little bit of the grass, a little bit of the tops of grass, but her main goal is to look for weeds. See how she prefers that leaf? Let's see if she eats that weed. Yep, she did. There you go. Proof my point. So she's still eating this Bermuda grass. She's still nibbling on the tops of them. Another reason why you'd want to do a pasture seed in your pasture is because you're gonna really improve the nutritional content of your grasses because usually usually you're gonna have like legumes with it which are gonna help the grasses have more nutritional value because it helps. Um, a lot of the legumes that are planted, they help take the nitrogen from the air and put it back into the soil. So overall, it's a good idea to like reseed your pasture every few years and we just have never done that so it's really time for us to do that. We are also going to get a couple sheep in about a month. Just put a deposit down for these Oh man, that hurts so bad. Your little hoovies are so sharp. They're so sharp. You having fun out here with the ladies? 
we're really excited because we're gonna bring two new sheep now I know we sold those sheep before but those sheep that we had were actually milking sheep and what we want to do is raise sheep for meat again like we used to when we first got started here so we put a deposit down on my favorite breed of sheep which is a Katahdin Katahdins are well known for their meat they do really well on grasses here I mean sheep are amazing they can turn grass into meat in a year you've got a hundred pounds of meat so it's really really economical and it's really good meat so we're gonna bring two male lambs here they're gonna be weathered so they can't breed with the sheep because that that happens sometimes that's happened to us actually it's called geep I'll put the um <laughs> I'll put the article below so you can see what actually did happen to us they have different chromosomes but they they can breed and that's what happened to us but yeah other than that uh, we're gonna just really use this pasture it's gonna get really green really lush and we're going to use it to raise those two little lambs on and then our goats here they'll be able to have pasture with the sheep during the day and then at night they're going to be locked into their pen so that they can have access to all of the nice yummy alfalfa hay and their special minerals and everything that they need because they're different they need different requirements especially when you've got when you've got milking goats you're trying to raise and you want them to be nice and healthy you really need to feed them the best of the best huh oh my gosh she is the literal worst she will sit She'll do that, look. No, you can't eat me. Look, she'll like scratch me. Oh my goodness. She would climb on me if I let her. She would just climb all over me. So our milking goats here, they are just the cream of the crop. They're the ones that are gonna get the best food because they're the ones that are providing us daily with food and so they need a lot of nutritional support so we've got a very specific mineral blend for them we've got a really good hay blend for them we actually use chaff hay which is this fermented hay this is called chaff hay this is a fermented hay they basically cut the hay cut the alfalfa and then they spray it with this molasses basically they get it fermented and they and what that does is that makes it more bioavailable so when the goats digest it it really helps support a healthy rumen and a healthy gut and it actually is supposed to increase our milk production a lot of people might say that chaff hay is too expensive but for somebody like us where we're already paying 12 to 16 dollars a bale for a bale of alfalfa having to pay 12 dollars for a bag of that chaff hay is no, a no-brainer you know now I should say the goats didn't like it at first but goats can be picky about what they will and won't eat so what we did is we mixed in some pellets with the chaff hay for about two weeks and so they still ate the pellets but they ate chaff hay as well they got used to the smell of it because it smells like molasses and then after those two weeks we put them completely on the chaff hay and they've done great Luna's getting more agile Trimming our trees for us. Good job, Luna. She's so good with her tongue. She can grab around branches. She's probably a good French kisser.